Hey y'all, we are making cast iron broccoli and cheese today. I don't know about you, but when I was little, I loved those microwavable bags of broccoli and cheese from Green Giant. So that's what I was going for. I started by grating a block of extra sharp cheddar cheese and a little bit of aged Parmesan. I diced up half of a shallot and one garlic clove using this to infuse the oil that I'm going to saute the broccoli in. And I purchased about three pounds of broccoli crowns and cut those into florets. Left me about, I wanna say about three to four cups of florets. I was making rice at the same time, but this starts with oil and butter in a cast iron brazier. I'm using my stove perfect pan. I sauteed the shallots until they were translucent. Then I was supposed to add the garlic here, but I forgot and added the broccoli. I tossed the broccoli around in that shallot and what's supposed to be garlic oil to get it nicely coated. So I waited until the broccoli was turning that bright, shocking green. And then I added in the heavy cream and the cheddar cheese. I like to do things in batches. I just feel like it's easier to get it well incorporated, but it can definitely be added all at once. After it's all stirred together, I top it with the cheddar cheese that I had set aside earlier and all of the Parmesan. Then it goes in a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. And this tastes pretty much exactly the same as those microwavable broccoli and cheese packs that I loved when I was a kid. The liquid, as you can see, is super runny, so it runs all over your plate just like those packages did. It's it's exactly what I was going for. Uh, if you try it, I hope you like it. As always, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.